Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is in Washington for two days of meetings, culminating in the North American Leaders Summit Thursday with U.S. President Joe Biden and Mexico President Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador. Mexico's foreign ministry said a bilateral meeting between the Mexican president and Canadian prime minister Thursday before the summit focused on equality, security and development for people in the region. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said Thursday that he had signed a $2.17 billion development assistance program with Nigeria's foreign affairs minister. Washington would also continue to invest in security in Nigeria, Blinken added, at a joint news conference with his Nigerian counterpart. Blinken's three-nation Africa trip started in Kenya, where he reiterated calls for an unconditional ceasefire in the Ethiopian conflict and appealed for a return to civilian democracy in Sudan after last month's coup. A top U.S. diplomat met Ethiopia's deputy prime minister Thursday in a bid to revive stalled talks about a ceasefire as the Ethiopian government gave permission for 369 aid trucks to enter famine-hit Tigray, where fighting began a year ago. A former Nigerian president and current African Union high representative for the Horn of Africa and the U.S. special envoy for the Horn of Africa both arrived Thursday, a ministry spokesperson said. Both men have said they want the Ethiopian government and rebellious Tigrayan forces and their allies to declare an unconditional ceasefire and access for humanitarian aid to all areas in northern Ethiopia affected by the war. The U.S. state of Oklahoma is set to execute Julius Jones Thursday. The African-American man has maintained his innocence in the 22-year-old murder he was convicted of and whose case has attracted the support of celebrities and anti-death penalty activists. Jones's last hope for clemency rests with Oklahoma's Republican Governor Kevin Stitt, who is yet to rule on a recommendation on a 3-1 vote by the state's Pardon and Parole Board earlier this month that Jones's sentence be commuted to life in prison. Jones's execution by lethal injection is scheduled for 4 p.m. local time at the state penitentiary using a contested three-drug cocktail. The International Tennis Federation is committed to player safety and supports an investigation into the whereabouts of Chinese player Peng Shui, the government body, governing body said Thursday. Former doubles world number one, Peng hasn't been seen or heard from publicly since she said on social media that a former vice premier of China coerced her into sex and that they later had an on-and-off consensual relationship. Her post was deleted about half an hour later. Women's Tennis Association chairman Steve Simon expressed doubt over an email the association received Wednesday in which Peng, a Grand Slam winner in women's doubles, denied the allegations of sexual assault. Simon said he had a hard time believing she actually wrote the email herself. In COVID-19 news around the world, Pfizer has signed a $5.29 billion deal with the U.S. government to deliver 10 million courses of its COVID-19 oral antiviral drug starting this year, the drug maker said Thursday. The oral drug could be a promising new weapon in the fight against the pandemic as it can be taken as an early at-home treatment to help prevent COVID-19 hospitalizations and deaths. The European health regulator said Thursday it was assessing a marketing authorization application for GlaxoSmithKline, Ver Biontech, Biontechnologies monoclonal antibody treatment for COVID-19 and could give its opinion within two months. AstraZeneca on Thursday cemented its lead in bringing a preventative COVID-19 shot for the non-infected to market for people who do not respond well to vaccines, saying its antibody drug cocktail offered 83% protection over six months. Germany's Vaccine Advisory Committee recommended COVID-19 vaccine booster shots for all people older than 18 Thursday as the number of coronavirus infections hits a new record in Europe's largest economy.
Hi, thank you for watching. I hope the videos are useful for you. Please subscribe to my channel using the button below.